This video is going to show my uh, rooted G1 starting Debian Linux and then connecting a Wii remote directly to the phone. So let's get started. I've already enabled Bluetooth across the top, which is a very important step. So we will flick this guy open and start the terminal here. So you come up, we will type SU to gain root access, and then we'll come up and make sure that that's okay. And of course it is. <clears throat> okay, so now we will run my little Debian script, which is going to mount up the contained ISO on my SD card. So it's going to go ahead and just start up SSH and return us right back to the same prompt. So in order to get into the jail Debian that we just started up, we will type SSH to 127.0.0.1. And since uh, our file system is read-only, it's going to always ask us to OK the certificate. So now I'm going to type my password in, which you guys are not going to be allowed to see, I hope. <laughs> OK. And so it just jumps. Now we are sitting at a terminal, again on our phone. We remote's off, just waiting. So I've taken the WM GUI program, which you, which comes with the CWD driver, and stripped it down just to spit out text. We can do X11 forwarding on here, but uh, then the computer would have to be involved, and that defeats the point of proving that this is all done the G1. So we got the command going here. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter on that. It tells me to put the Wii into discovery mode, so we push 1 and 2. And the lights are going to start blinking here for a sec. And as soon as they go solid, we are going to get a whole bunch of data. So this is textual output from the Wii giving us pitch roll and three-dimensional three acceleration. acceleration. <clears throat> and then on the Wii, we just run a, a basic light pattern here just to show that we can control it. And then the thing vibrates on the fourth. And I'm not sure if it's going to be able to be seen here, but... We're holding the Wii nice and straight, and all the numbers should be at zero. And so we'll go ahead and rotate it, and you'll see all the numbers jump around. We'll rotate it the other way. See again that the numbers jump. And that we can shake the thing and get some uh, acceleration information. So right there is a G1 phone talking directly to a Nintendo Wii remote over Bluetooth without the computer being involved.